Hey, thanks for taking my call. I just found your program randomly on YouTube, and um, I, I typed uh, in the private chat. I think you, you wrote yeah, but I just want to make sure. So, you take all subjects? Yeah, obviously, uh, obviously, I'm talking about conspiracy theories, isn't it? But I don't mind if people come in and talk about other stuff. Because me, I'm a man. I like to give advice. So, one of the previous callers, he was asking me, and obviously, I I speak to him quite often on this thing. Anyway, he's asking me about like saving up money and talking about women and that so yeah if you want to dive no problem i always go back to the original thing anyway so yeah if you want to talk about something that's cool man thanks man thank you it's very nice of you that but by the way for everyone listening that's how you do a radio or, or show you know some some hosts are very strict they don't take all subjects and sometimes i get that but a lot of times like why don't they take all subjects it's good for the program so i like the way that you, that you take all subjects i like that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay yeah all right, so I got three subjects for you. Tell me if you like any of them. And if you don't, no hard feelings. I hang up and call someone else. Nope, no problem. Uh, the yeah. first one is a sports one. I doubt you'll take it, but I'll just put it out there. Uh, Michael Jordan fans are the worst NBA fans then. Uh, the second one is uh, more serious. And the third one's also more serious. The second one is, you know, anytime you buy meat, cheese, milk, or pretty much anything that comes from an animal, do you ever stop and think that you're giving your money to an industry that is literally torturing and killing animals? And the third subject for you, um, one more subject for you then. Um, can you tell me where in science or religion, religion or science, because most people, they get their values from, you know, they learn things from religion and or science. Where does it say in any religion or science, in any religion or science, that once a guy turns 18, he is no longer supposed to be attracted to a girl under 18 then. Those are my subjects for you. Fucking hell. Do you know what, blood? Me and my girlfriend was watching a video about pedophiles the other day, you know. So it's a good thing. God, but obviously, I ain't going to bring up that topic on there, but you brought it up. So, yeah, we'll write off number one because I'm not into sports. Like, man, I practice taekwondo, um, but I'm not into sports. Like, I like watching boxing. I'm not into football as in soccer. I'm not English, not into English football. So we write off the sports one. Um, number two, yeah, we can chat about that. Um, yeah, so, you, don't think, uh, you don't think I'm advocating pedophilia, do you? No, but no, but the thing is, right, we, we can talk about that afterwards though, isn't it? Because this 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 video was making some valid points. Yeah, I think it was called Are All Men Pedophiles, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. This oh, video I know was that, making yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know that. Video. Yeah, I never played yeah. it, but I know the video. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, it was making some some valid points that will make you, you know, kind of scratch your head or whatever. Isn't it? But um, obviously, at the end of the day, right, I will never not eat meat or nothing like that. But why not? I, like, like I like lamb. Well, lamb's all right or whatever in it as a meat. But if you see the look, imagine like you was at a restaurant because you know, like when you go, well, I think I think they still do it in America where you go to the restaurant and you can pick out the lobster out of the tank. Right now, a lobster is not the type of animal where you kind of care about it or whatever in it. But like, if you saw a cute little lamb, like you wouldn't really want to pick that lamb and say, "Yeah, kill that lamb. I'm gonna eat that lamb." Like, I would feel bad. I think to go and nominate a lamb and say, "Yeah, take it to the slaughterhouse, kill that animal, and eat it." And that's how a lot of people actually become vegan and that when they go to the slaughterhouse and they watch the animals getting killed. Um, but yeah, so I, I think do think, I, like, think the, I think the country you're from has the highest number of vegans. You're from the United Kingdom. So you know as good as anyone out there how many you know how vegans are getting pop uh, veganism is getting popular. Um, but you know you said something interesting. You said you don't think you'll stop eating meat or something like that. As a yeah. human being, you recognize wrong, you recognize the lamb. I would like for you to feel bad for the lobster, but at least you felt bad for one animal. Um, yeah. what I'm trying to say is do you, do you know the details of how they're tortured and killed? Do you know the details? And if you do, how do you justify it? And if you don't, do you ever plan to uh, you know, educate yourself to maybe consider stop eating meat then? And it's not just the meat, by the way. It's the ice cream, mayonnaise, cheesecakes, a bunch of things that have something to do with an animal. It's not just meat. So when you buy a chocolate bar, when you buy cheesecake, when you have um, uh, milk chocolate, ice cream, mayonnaise, uh, a bunch of things like, a hot, you know, obviously hot dogs, uh, uh, you know, it could be a pizza and, uh, you know, it could be a hamburger, a number of things. There's a lot of things that come from an animal and they are literally torturing and killing these animals for things you don't even need. I, I, I know, I know exactly what you said. I've seen like those videos on YouTube and anyone can go and check these out. Um, like what really happens in the slaughterhouse. 
and they don't kill the animals in humane ways. So like, let's say for example, a cow, they're supposed to shock, the cow's supposed to put some kind of electric current through his head and kill the, no, they don't do that. They will beat the cow and some, some of them abuse the animals as well before they actually kill them. So yeah, but you know, unfortunately they, they, they do this crazy stuff in it, but I'm still gonna eat meat. I, I'm so you don't care enough. So you don't you don't feel bad for the animals. See that's bad. See, see, a man's got a man on blast, ain't it? But I'm engineered. I'm designed to eat me. That's why a man's got canines. Well, number number one, let's put to the side whether you're engineered or not. Let's just we'll, we'll debate that part. I don't mind. But let's yeah. assume you're engineered to eat meat, or you're not engineered. It makes no difference because if they are torturing and killing. It's wrong to torture and kill. If you met a Chinese guy and he was eating dogs, and you know in China they're torturing and killing dogs, it wouldn't make sense that the Chinese guy said, you know, man, I got canine teeth, I'm engineered to eat meat. That wouldn't be a logical argument because they're torturing and killing animals. Uh, if you want, I can address the engineering part, but I want to be fair to you if you want to follow up to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I like the fact that you brought up dogs in China, yeah? Now, in the UK and America, we're well, pretty much similar countries, yeah? In our countries, in America and the UK, we worship dogs. Dogs are, well, not worship dogs, but dogs are a part of the family. Dogs are seen as on the same level as human beings. In the UK, people sleep in their, in their beds with their pet dogs. So the, the dog's not just an animal or a pet. It's more like a part of the family. It's more like uh, one of the children or whatever, isn't it? So when we see like Chinese and or Japanese people killing dogs and eating them, or in this country, we feel like some people look at them like barbarians and that. But hold on. In, Ch in, um, in India, you see they, they worship the cow, like the cow is a sacred animal in, in India. I don't think you can get beef in India. Furthermore to that, if you touch or well, harm, uh, you can well, just, just, to, just to make sure there, there might be a misunderstanding. In India, although some people do worship cows, in mm. general, Indians believe in vegetarianism, so they don't eat animals in general. In fact, right. India has the highest number of vegetarians in the world. Um, and But uh, w whether, they, whether they do or not, um, torturing and killing is wrong. Whether yeah. something is a pet or not part of the culture, or against religious values or not, it doesn't matter what you believe because at the, it doesn't matter what your culture is, torturing and killing is wrong. And a lot of animals in America are pets. Pigs are pets. Some people have chickens as pets. Some people have farms where they love their goats and a bunch of other animals, but you don't say, okay, don't torture and kill these ones, but torture and kill those ones. It's wrong to torture and kill no matter what the species. Mm -hmm. And, and right, what, what if so? So, are you a vegan yourself then, or a vegetarian? I actually don't label myself as vegan. What I label myself as, I don't eat arms and legs and bones and guts and blood and carcass and skin. Yeah, yeah don't don't worry, don't worry. I'm not trying to like catch you out or nothing here because what I was going to say is no, no, I know, no, no, I know. You've been yeah. very nice. Don't worry, you've been very nice. You've been very yeah, nice. Yeah. No, no, you, I, I wasn't taking anything that you did in a negative way. Yeah, because um, I was going to say, what if? Um, the, the animals that you like to eat, maybe beef or lamb or whatever, what if they were killed in a humane way? So you knew, okay, when they are killed in a slaughterhouse, it's in a humane way. So they, they do it the easiest and quickest way so the animal doesn't suffer. Would you still feel comfortable eating that food? Like if you knew for a fact, okay, in this slaughterhouse, they're killed in a humane way rather than some back alley farm or whatever, because obviously that does happen because obviously there's plenty of videos on YouTube where they go undercover. But obviously you said you don't eat no arms and no legs. Now for me, as long as I know the animal is killed in a humane way, at the end of the day, our people as human beings, we've been doing this for centuries. So, okay. you know. So, so there's, a, there's, a lot, there's a lot to unpack there. I'll, I'll try my best not to give you a long answer because I don't want you to feel like I'm hogging up all the time, but th there's a lot of things that you said that were wrong. So b before I answer your question, and I'm not gonna dodge your question, you asked me a pretty fair question. What if it was done in a humane way? There's two things you need to consider first, and then I'll answer your question. First, yes. when something wants to live, you know, the animals can't talk to you. They can't say, please stop, don't kill me, don't put me in a cage. They want to survive. All they can do is grunt and groan and yell and scream. They can't mm. tell you, don't kill me, don't put a knife on my throat then. There's no humane way to kill something that doesn't want to be killed. If a human didn't want to be killed, you wouldn't say, oh, there's a humane way to kill it. If there's no humane is not the kill. That's humane. Uh, to the second thing that you have to consider, uh, it's when you said, what if they weren't doing it in, hu in a hu uh, inhumane way? They have over 7 billion people on this planet. Most people eat meat. For them to keep feeding everybody 
I mean, think about all the stores you go to, all the restaurants, all the diners, meat is everywhere. They have so much meat because they have to keep cranking them out like a factory, like they're making cell phones or suitcases or shoes, things like that. They have to crank them out, crank them out, crank them out, crank them out. When you have that many people to feed on meat and you have an industry that has to keep cranking and cranking and cranking and cranking them out, you're gonna have torture. You can't, you have to put them in cages. You have to um, force them to get pregnant. You gotta get the sperm out of them. You gotta separate the baby so the baby doesn't take the milk from you. You gotta put them in cages sometimes. You gotta, you gotta, um, oh, I'll, I'll kill them right away because they're not gonna, they're, they're maybe handicapped or something. Or, hey, this animal is a boy animal. We got no use for them. We're gonna kill them earlier. Oh, this cow is a, we want to make veal. Veal is a cow that's two years old. Let's kill them at two years old. And there's more examples. I can give you a million examples. The point I'm making is for them to keep cranking and cranking and cranking and cranking them out, there's no way to, for them to be humane. Otherwise, the only, the only way for them to do it nicely is somebody has to go around shooting each animal in the head. You can't shoot over a trillion animals in the head practically. Do you know that they kill about one trillion every month? That's more than all the humans on Earth, and that's wow. more than all the humans who have ever been on Earth every wow. month. There's no, there's no practical way for them to kill them. Like, it, it, like let's say, I, let's say I agreed with you, and they can do it quickly in the head, shoot them in the head, and you say that's humane. That means somebody has to go out there, or some people have to go out there and shoot a trillion animals in the head every month. Then there's no practical way to do that. Now to answer your question, what if there was a humane way to do it? In this magical way that there's a humane way to do it, I still wouldn't do it. You know why? Because the animals don't want to die. They want to live, man. And they all have a right to live. You know. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I can't disagree. Um, you know, I, it would be silly to say, well, you know, if there was that in the, in the, in the wild, there would be fair game to other, you know, predators and stuff in it. But that, that's not a reason to kill them. But Some of them, not all of them. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, also, you know, humans are also right, exactly. But you know, uh, the other thing you have to consider, you, you brought up something earlier. I forgot what your question. You had some other topic or question you were bringing me up. Um, I forgot what it was, man. I wanted. To, I don't want you to think I'm dodging it, but there was something else you brought up. I think you asked me something. Uh, you remember what it was? Uh, oh, canine. It was a canine thing. I remember canine. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thing, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, there's two things you have to consider. First, um, we don't know what human beings did one million years ago. That's There's no way for any of us to know what they did, what they ate. Maybe they ate meat. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I know some animals eat meat and some animals don't. I know some people might be in a very cold area, like in the German mountains. It's not like they can go to a McDonald's drive through and get meat every night. I know if you're in the desert in Africa a million years ago, it's not like you have, okay, a hotel to call room service. It's not like meat is available all the time, every day, every hour then. And if it is, because even if you say, well, there's animals all over, they can hunt and uh, kill them. They were eating to survive. They had no choice. You have to eat something or you die. So nowadays, you don't have to eat ice cream. You don't have to eat mayonnaise. You don't have to eat a cheesecake. You don't have to eat cream cheese and eggs and milk chocolates and uh, you know, donut that has eggs in it. You don't have to eat a hamburger to survive. And a bunch of other examples I can give you, but you get the point. You don't have to have a pizza night. You don't have to have a party with your friends and have a bunch of fucking uh, steaks. You don't have to have dog food that has meat in it. I, there's a million examples I can give you. You don't have to have, for example, when let's say you're in a good mood. Oh, I got a raise at my job today. I'm in a good mood. I'm gonna go out and you know, I'm gonna buy a, a flame, uh, I'm gonna buy some goat meat. You don't have to eat goat meat then. There's a bunch of things you don't have to do. Uh, to your canine argument, uh, this is a very complicated topic that anthropology people are even debating. I don't think people like you and me who are not, I assume you don't have a degree in anthropology. So, you know, we don't know these topics, man. It's just very simple for people to go, we have canine teeth, therefore we should eat it. Um, there's lots of people, places in the world where they did not eat meat. Uh, I'll go to India. If you go back years and years and years, Indians are historically known not to eat meat. They didn't eat meat all these years. Uh, Japanese, the Okinawa diet, they don't eat meat except for some fish, but they don't eat meat. So I, I, if Indians didn't do it and Japanese didn't do it, maybe some others didn't do it. Um, but you know whether they did or not, it doesn't matter, man, because they're being tortured and killed today. You know, There's a lot of things your ancestors did that you probably don't want to do them. Apparently, the Japanese people have the best diet, but um, you know, I believe in about maybe I don't know, hundred years, maybe a thousand years, 
Because you know, like what people used to do back in the days, we will look at that now and like, oh, they're, those lot are kind of like barbarians or Neanderthals. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? So in a thousand yeah. years, a hundred years, they're going to look back on us like, oh, they actually used to eat meat. Like they actually used to eat an animal. Like how barbaric. That's that's the conversation I can imagine. So what I think they would yeah, do, I don't know if right, you've yeah. seen, have you seen a film called Aliens? Old classic Aliens. Um, oh, the, the Aliens. 1979 movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, yeah, the old aliens. Um, yeah. They will eat like some kind of like manufactured food or whatever. So I reckon like our food in the future will be like that. Nothing is organic. It's all like manufactured or whatever. It's still good for us. Right. Gives us all the vitamins that we all need. Probably better than natural food because obviously it's processed in that way. But I reckon in the future, a hundred, a thousand years, there'll be no more eating meat. Uh, we'll just be all processed yeah, food. You, you could, you, you, you could be right. And by the, by the way, if you really can't give up meat, if it's tough for you, they have they have substitute meat, man. That's the also sad thing about this. The animals yeah, yeah. are being tortured and killed when you could just eat something that's almost the same. I've I found some substitute meats. You can't even tell the difference. You can't even tell the difference. We've got one over here called corn. Q U O R N. That's like a substitute meat, apparently. Oh, okay, okay. I've tried some of them. I mean, if, if there's something that you don't like, you have so many choices to try something you do like. They've done testing with people where they show, tell me which one is meat and tell me which one is not meat. People can't even tell the difference. How sad is that, man, that they're tortured and killed and it's not even necessary. It, it's not even like there's a reason. Like, I'm not saying there's ever an excuse to torture and kill. There's not. There's no reason it's wrong. But let's say someone came up with an excuse or some excuses. Even those are not legit anymore. They can't even go, oh, uh, it's hard for me to give up meat. Because you have substitute meat then. Uh, no, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I'll tell you, man, you, you, seem, you seem smart, man. You don't seem, I wasn't sure if you'd agree with me or not, but you seem to be on my side, man. A guy like yeah. you who knows what's up, I hope you don't just ignore it, like forget about this and go, I'm going back to meat, man, you know? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I will still continue to eat meat. I ain't, I ain't gonna be playing with no one. I'll still be eating meat. But see, this is the no, thing, yeah, veganism. Uh, I'm not saying you're trying to push veganism, but I've noticed, for what the reason why I don't like veganism is I don't think people are doing it generally. I think it's more like pe- pe- human beings are sheep and followers, as I was saying at the beginning of this live stream. And people just like to follow the latest trend. So maybe it's just caught fire. Now everyone's jumped on it and they've realized, right, this is a good thing. But I think a lot of people have jumped on veganism just to be a follow fashion. And then you get extremist veganisms who try to go around and tell people, oh, you are a bad person for eating meat. I'm not saying that you, well, obviously you're pushing that narrative. Now I ain't saying you're a bad person, but there's a lot of people putting the finger and say, well, you shouldn't eat meat because of this reason and that. Well, what was you doing five years ago? All right, we all have an awakening at one time, and you know, or maybe we should stop doing something now and start doing this, whatever. But they're going around like the meat police now, trying to push the finger, point the finger on that. Well, you shouldn't eat meat, and now you're a bad person. And don't get too sick. You made me feel bad. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, he's right, you know. Not that I'm going to change, but yeah, it, conversations like this make us feel guilty for, for eating meat. And there's people who are like the meat police going around telling people you shouldn't eat meat now and stuff like that. So, Okay, so I, I will acknowledge that there are some extremists out there who are forced things. There are some people who are rude. There are some people who are jerks. All these things I understand. What does any of that have to do with the fact that animals are tortured and killed? Yeah, you're right. You're right, man. You're right. You're right. So I, I'm glad you said I'm right. That, that makes me happy. I, I like that you get it because I've had these debates where I get all the stupid excuses. You haven't been one of those guys. What, what makes me disappointed, though, is you know it's wrong. You say I'm right, you know what's up, but then you go, I'm not going to stop eating meat then. I don't get that, man. That's it. Do you know know what? Maybe, you you know, like that that situation I told you about looking at the cute little lamb and then going and killing the lamb. Maybe I wouldn't want to eat a lamb. Maybe if someone took me to a slaughterhouse, because seeing something on a video is different to being there in real life. You know, I've seen people on videos, these crazy videos, get their head blown off. But to see that in real life is two different things. Um, so maybe if I was in a slaughterhouse and I saw it for myself, then maybe I'll be like, I'm done. But until you that mean, day, I've, I've been to Jamaica. But, but, you, know, but you, were, you, already know, you don't have to be there. You already have an idea. You might not know all the details, but you yeah, know enough. You know, you, you know about the knife to the throat. I'm sure you know mm. about the baby chickens going in a blender. Um, you know about the baby lamb getting killed and all that. You, you, you know these things. 
why write it off? Why go, I'm not, I'm not changing my meat. And how about these vegan extremists then? Why do that? Why not just go, it's wrong. I'm going to try to stop this. Because every time you give me your money, because if you're talking about conspiracy theories, man, this, there is a conspiracy out there for the meat industry to hide what they're doing. When you see a commercial, hey, get two pizzas for $12.99, make it a dinner night, come on down, have a nice time. They are hiding the truth. They are torturing and killing these poor animals who have no choice then. One of the saddest ones, you can find it on YouTube. You know how they kill lots of pigs? I'm not talking about a few bad apples. I'm talking about generally how they kill pigs. They put them in a gas chamber. A gas chamber. Mm -hmm. The pigs are in the gas chamber screaming and squealing and trying to find a place where there's air and they die slowly. Slow, it's not a quick death, it's a slow death. And they, in a way, they have to. I'm not saying they have to do this, but they have to to keep up the demand for meat for pigs. Remember, I told you earlier to keep cranking them and cranking them and cranking and cranking them out. They can't, they have to have a faster way. So they put these multiple animals in a gas chamber and they suffocate and die slowly. And for what purpose, man? So you can have a fun night with your friends and get a pizza that you don't need. It's wrong. This is all torture. People say they believe in God. I don't know if I, I, I highly doubt God would be okay with this. And even if you're atheist, if you have morals and values, this is not good. If you're, an animal, if you're an animal lover, this is not good. If you're agnostic, this is not good. No matter what you believe, it is wrong to torture and kill these animals. If you play the videos on YouTube, man, you don't have to be in a slaughterhouse. You have enough information right there. They're torturing and killing them. I mean, right now, as you're comfortable right now in your yellow jacket, and you're on live stream and you're having a great time and all that, right now they're being tortured and killed. And you know why? Because you're giving them your money. Every time you mm -hmm. give them your money, you support that industry. Then. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. 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 But you're not going to stop though, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to be honest, like there's some people say, oh, I think about it. For me, Again, the only way I'll I'll have to be there and be disgusted by it. Again, like you said, watch the video. But I've seen the videos. I've actually gone out of my way. Let me like watch these videos and stuff. That still is not a deterrent enough for me. Um, maybe if I was exposed to it, because as I said, in real life, it's different to watching a video. Yeah, a video you can visualize it as much, but being there, it, yeah, that's a that's a different ball game. Do you really do you really do you really want to be there in person, man? Because that might scar you for life, though. No, no, I wouldn't go. But what I'm saying is, maybe then I would be disgusted by it if if someone actually brought me there or whatever, and then it was done right in front of me. Because I've been to Jamaica and stuff, but I've never seen them cut a chicken's head off before. I've never seen yeah, anyone. They yeah, they won't show you. They try to remember. They're trying. They're trying to make money, man. They don't want to show you what happens. They want to. They want to hide everything to make it seem like it's all happy cows come from California and they're out in the grass eating their food and they're free. And then when the animal gets old, oh, we kill it naturally or it dies naturally. We collect the carcass. Whatever the lies they're doing, um, yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're putting these animals in miserable conditions, man. I mean, imagine there was an animal in front of you right now. All right, he's in front of you and he can talk in English. And he said, "Hey, bro, listen, man. Why are you letting this happen to me? What are you going to say to it?" Oh, I'm letting it happen because I never went to a slaughterhouse to really understand how bad it was. Then. You know, and the animal's going to say, okay, I appreciate that. You didn't go to a slaughterhouse. It's all good. Torture and kill me now. You know, it, it's no, wrong, man. They're I mean, you're right. You're so right. Yeah, especially if the animal could talk and communicate and you can look into its eyes and have a conversation. Yeah, 110%. Right. Right. If you could talk to the animal, you would not tell the animal, listen, man, I know it's wrong, but I haven't been to a slaughterhouse. So it's not I, I don't know how I, it's not affecting me in a negative way. So I'm going to keep eating meat. You wouldn't do that. You would know it's wrong. If it was yeah. a human, you, you wouldn't say, well, you know, in the slave days. Well, I, I have to be there on the cotton farms in America to know how bad it is. I mean, that's good if you're there. So you know how bad it is. But you don't have to be there to know slavery is wrong. It's wrong to torture and kill human beings. And that applies to all species. It's wrong to torture and kill all species. Yeah, yeah, because you know what? The other day I was watching the, the film about the Holocaust and the way the guy used to just go around shooting um, these the, the, the Jews dead like they were like he was stepping on um, ants like it was nothing. I was like, this right. guy had no respect for human life. Literally, just he would just take out his sniper rifle. And you must have seen maybe a video or a film about it, just shooting people dead. No, just nothing. Nothing, almost like he's sweating. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's what's happening here. I don't blame people for eating meat.
because I, I just, you know, I grew up eating meat. I know how good it tastes. I didn't know all the details. Even when I became vegetarian, I still didn't know all the details. If a vegetarian doesn't know, I'm pretty sure a meat eater doesn't know. I mean, there's people in the chat room, in your chat room right now, who are disagreeing with me and giving me stupid answers like animals eat animals and all that stuff. Um, there's, no just, there's no justification for this. You don't need to eat ice cream. You don't need mayonnaise. You don't need dog food that has meat in it. And a bunch of things I can give you, there's more examples, but you get the point then. Um, the videos are there on YouTube. You have common sense. You know it's wrong to torture and kill. And if you really can't let go of the meat and the ice cream and the cheesecake and all that, you have substitutes. You have substitute meat, substitute ice cream, substitute cheesecake, substitute a bunch of things, donuts, uh, uh, sausage, pepperoni, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, beef, uh, what, what else? Milk chocolates. And there's, there's a bunch more examples, but you get the point. One, well, one reason, and I know you're going to have an argument for this, definitely. One reason why people won't want to eat the substitute stuff is because they said that's processed. Now, obviously, I know what you're going to say. Well, a lot of this meat that we eat, and it is true, it is processed, but right. that's fake on another level. And some people are like, well, I'd rather eat the real thing. Although it's processed and it's been injected with steroids and all this kind of stuff, like they don't want to eat any fake things because God knows what was in that. Not that I believe in God, well, but oh, first of all, actually, you can check the ingredients. I have I bought mayonnaise that was vegan, and I bought mayonnaise that was non-vegan, and there was way less processed garbage in the vegan mayonnaise. You check check the ingredients. I look open the vegan uh, the non-vegan mayonnaise. It had all these big words. I didn't even know a fasta fast this, ista fasta fast that, dusa fakada this, fakada that. I opened the vegan mayonnaise. It had like one or two words, and the rest was like non, it was like natural things soy, olive oil, uh, plant, things like that. It's actually less garbage. You also have to consider not only are you getting more processed foods from the meat, what about the other stuff you're eating? You're eating part of the blood, you're eating part of the guts, part of the bacteria part of the stuff that's left over from the arms and legs and skin and flesh. And I don't know if we're spiritual or not. There are some people believe, um, it's okay if you don't believe this, but I believe this. You know how when you eat, you know, they say, some people say when you cook food, cook it in a happy way because your energy goes into that food. Well, when you, when you eat meat, you are getting the sadness, the torture, the misery, the suffering, the depression, the negativity, the death, uh, basically all the horrible things and sad things that come from that. You're bringing that the energy in you. If you don't believe that, that's okay. I'm not knocking you for not believing that. But the other things are true. It is There's more processed foods in meat foods. That's not even, I don't even think that that'd be disputed. Like they, they genetically modify these animals to give, for example, more milk. They, they put these shots in these animals to crank out more milk. It actually gets so bad for the animal that the animal wants you to milk it because they have so much milk building up. They genetically modify these animals to be fatter, thicker, juicier, and all that to the point where the animals get so fat, some of them fucking their legs break and they can't even stand up and they just stand there. And then meanwhile, the other, the other animals in that place, they, get, they, get, they go crazy from being in these small cages if they start to peck at the animals. So they peck the animal to death while it's alive then, you know? It's a lot of horrible things that can happen. I could give you more examples, but you get the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, man. It is, it is, it is it's terrible how they slaughter the animals and they basically breed the animals just for yep. cheeseburgers on our plate. And uh, you know what they yeah. used to do in the old days, by the way, when they used to get the sperm out the animal. You, you'll never guess. You know how they used to get the sperm out the animal in the old days? Um, well, I've seen what they do nowadays. They pretend they make the animal feel that like it's having sex with like a fake cow or fake whatever the female version is of that animal. But go on, will they bash off the animal, masturbate the animal or something? They they used to jerk off the animals. Yeah, masturbate. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, how else would they do it now? They kind of get some like I saw one with a pig. How they it, um, get the semen out of the pig, and it makes the pig think that he's having sex with a female pig, basically. Yeah, and then the, 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 the females, they get them pregnant over and over and over. Like they use them like, it's like you brought up the movie Alien. You ever see those yeah. alien movies where the aliens are using humans to get their resources? That's mm -hmm. what the humans are doing to the animals. They're, they're, they're using them for resources. It's like that movie, The Matrix with Keanu Reeves. They yeah. show all the humans uh, sleeping in those pods. 
Mm-hmm. They're doing worse than that with the animals. At least those humans were sleeping. These animals are awake and they're doing more worse things than this than what they do in the movie Matrix then. They get the animal pregnant over and over and over and over. And every time she gives birth, they separate them. And the baby gets sad, the mother gets sad. And then the, the mother, she goes crazy from getting pregnant over and over and from being separated over and over that she just goes numb. And it's like, okay, she doesn't even know what's happening anymore. And at some point she can't give birth anymore because she goes crazy or she's just too old. She can't give birth anymore then. And what do they do? They kill it. Yeah, yeah. Literally like a breeding machine, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a breeding machine then. Man, dude, listen, man, I'm not asking you to pay money. I'm not asking you to sign up for anything. I'm not asking <laughs> you to move. All I'm asking you is, man, don't give them your money. That's it. You, you could believe whatever you like. Think about K-19. Think about your ancestors eating meat, all that stuff. It doesn't really bother me, honestly. The thing is, just don't give them your money. They're doing this because it's a profit. It's the money. They're going to keep doing it over and over if people keep giving them their money. Don't give them your money, man. I, I, honestly, if you're going to eat meat, I'd rather you take a gun and go out in the jungle and shoot an animal yourself. At least you, you'll witness what's happening and you'll understand it. But and at least you hopefully kill it fast. These people are torturing and killing them, man. Seriously, there's no justification, man. I grew up eating meat, bro. I know how good it tastes. Trust me, yeah. I'm fat and I grew up eating. Meat. If I can, if I can quit, I'm a fat guy who grew up eating. I mean, I'm, I'm not that fat, but I'm kind of fat. If I can quit, I, pretty much anyone can quit. It's not that hard, man. I eat tons of junk food. I eat tons of. I eat chips, ice cream. I eat sausages if I want. I mean, now I'm cutting back. I haven't eaten junk food really that long consistently then. But if I want to, I can eat all this stuff. I can eat burritos, nachos, tacos. You can eat donuts, chocolate. Uh, you can eat cereals, whatever you like. You don't have to have it from skin and flesh and guts and all that. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I, I hear what you say. I still won't be budging, though. But, yeah, no, you made some good points. And, yeah, definitely, you definitely, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally, more leaning towards intentionally guilt trip people. For eating meat and that, but yeah, I, I won't be my, my, on that. My, my thing was, yeah, my thing, you're right, that might be part of it. My thing was to give you information. I think a lot of people just don't know all the information. Like, how many people think about animals are being tortured and killed to put so you could have meat in your dog food, for example? You know, how many people yeah, thought yeah. ice cream? Uh, like, well, when people, people think of you know, videos, right. yeah. Well, yeah, when I, people I, think about the yeah. industry, they think about meat, they don't think about ice cream or mayonnaise. Or uh, things like that, you know. I, I, my my purpose was to give you information, and yeah, sure, I wanted you to feel guilty about it because that's normal, man. You're a human being. You know it's yeah. wrong to torture and kill animals. I, yeah. I I don't know. I, w- I I wish I can convince you, um, but I think you said it. I think I think I understand why. I think because you're not connecting what's happening. That's why you're not um, going to stop the meat eating thing. But I'm trying to get you to connect, man. Connect what's happening. Go play the videos. Go to a slaughterhouse if you have to. Uh, go think about the cute animals. Go to a farm or, you know, um, get a dog. Think about the baby fish, the baby chickens. Um, you know, think about the, the animals you like. You should like all of them, but I understand if you don't like lobsters. But think about the animals you do like then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what are you saying? Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the, um, uh, the attraction thing you said? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But just sure. But by the way, Nadia in the chat. For for all the people disagreeing with me, I mean, I've answered a lot of these points. I don't know if you guys were here. You can eat ice cream that's vegan. You can make really great ice cream. You can't even tell the difference. They got yeah. cookies and cream, Rocky Road, uh, you know, cookie dough, a bunch of other ice cream. You get the point, Nadia. I don't understand. What are you telling me, Nadia? It's okay to torture and kill them, so you can eat ice cream. Are you listening to yourself? Hey, animals, uh, I'm going to torture and kill you so I can eat ice cream. What, is, what kind of logic is this? Did your ancestors eat ice cream? For those, for those of you who wanted to bring up your ancestors, did your ancestors eat ice cream then? No, they don't. You know. By the way, there, there was actually a video on Amazon. The, they, they're, I'm sorry, YouTube. They were interviewing a tribe in the Amazon. And the Amazon jungle people, they said they feel guilty when they kill the animals. But they have no choice. So some of you, ha- you all have a choice. And some of you don't even feel guilty. So when you guys want to talk about how people eat meat, at least they feel guilty. And at least they, they, they're they doing it because they have no choice then, supposedly. They may actually yeah. have a choice. That's debatable then. But you people in the chat room, you have a choice. And you guys don't even feel guilty then. Anyway.